Hey everyone, Jason here again. Welcome to my knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the clove hitch versus the constrictor knot. Both the clove hitch and the constrictor knot are hitch knots, but they can also be considered binding knots. They can be used to secure a line to an anchor point, making them a hitch knot, but most hitch knots are in fact adjustable loops, and both the clove hitch and the constrictor knot, although contain loops in their structure, they don't adjust well once tightened and have more of a purpose to bind an object or an anchor point. The clove hitch is created by forming two loops in opposite directions, seen here. And the constrictor knot is formed very similarly, except the working end gets tucked under the standing part before being passed under the loops. Friction is an important part of understanding knots, and to be clear, friction is the force that resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with the surface of another. In the case of knots, the motion that's being resisted is either the knot coming untied or also the weight of the load that the rope is holding. You can see friction in this simple demonstration of a half hitch knot, where the friction is only created between the rope and the stick with a single wrap. Of course, we can tie a much stronger knot, and both the clove hitch and the constrictor knot are a couple examples. Let's have a look at how to tie the clove hitch and the constrictor knot around this simple anchor point here. Both of these knots rely on friction to get their strength. The clove hitch uses friction through the two wraps around the stick, and then also friction between the stick and the last loop. Let's have a look at the constrictor knot now. As you can see, it's tied very similarly, except with the constrictor knot, the constrictor gets more friction because it passes under the crossed loops, which tighten on the standing part. These crossed loops add more resistance and so create more friction. The constrictor knot can actually become a bit difficult to untie after being tightened or loaded, so it's important to think about which knot is better suited for your needs. As I've mentioned, in addition to being used as a hitch knot, both the clove hitch and the constrictor knot can be used to bind an object, such as a sleeping bag, a blanket, a tarp, or maybe a bundle of sticks. The constrictor knot will always be the stronger knot and less likely to slip, but as I also mentioned, it can become difficult to untie after the knot has had tension applied. One option to resolve this is to tie a slipped constrictor knot, seen here. We tie it the same way as a regular constrictor knot, except at the end we create a small bite and then pass that bite through and under the loops. This will make untying much easier. So there you have it, the constrictor knot and the clove hitch, two very similar knots. If you'd like to learn about other hitch knots, then I'd recommend you check out my video, 20 Essential Hitch Knots. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.